Viviani won the title fan favorite on the hit TV show Top Chef and has since opened up restaurants across the country. Yeah, including one at Del Lago. And this morning he is with our Ashley Dorsbacher at the restaurant there called Portico. Good morning, Ashley. Not that comfortable in the kitchen, but we're going to make it work today because this guy is with me, uh, Chef Fabio Viviano. Yep. Uh, you have got a fun event coming up tonight. Talk about what yes, you're doing here uh, today. Yes, tonight, Del Lago Resort, uh, I will be hosting a the most outrageous cooking demonstration that you've ever witnessed in your life. So if you have nothing to do, or if you have like, you know, if you want to spend a good evening with us. Or if you want to get away from your family. Or if you want to get away from your family, <laughs> or maybe you want to get away from your husband, you know what I'm talking about here. Delagoresort.com, some tickets are still available. We have like seven, 800 people already there. It's going to be a great show. Yeah, and what are you going to be talking to folks about tonight? You know, we're going to literally teach them how to cook at least few dishes to save their life. There are always those situations in your yeah. life where you wish you knew how to cook something. Yeah. Tonight. Every day. Tonight we'll put a fix on that. Nice. So do you know what you're going to be cooking? Can you give us a little sneak peek? Yeah, cake? well, you can't give away the farm. Yeah. But I promise you, you're going to be able to make fresh pasta from scratch in less than 90 seconds once I'm done with you. If that doesn't get you out here to yeah. see him, maybe the accent will, or maybe his personality will, maybe... Maybe the look. <laughs> maybe the, the face will, yeah. The food is actually really good, yeah. regardless of everything else, you know? You've been cooking for a long time. Oh, I've been cooking forever, literally forever. Since you were 11. Since I was 11, and I'm, I'm kind of old right now. He's not. No. Yeah, I'm kind of old. <laughs> but you know a thing or two, and you've opened up restaurants and Many. all across the country. How is it being here at Del Lago? I like it. You know, although the, the Finger Lakes area yes. reminds me nothing like Tuscany, yes. the feeling is that I'm in Tuscany. A lot of farm, a lot of good people. A lot of wine. Great, a lot of wine. Of course, <laughs> hello. Uh, by the way, what time is it? We could have a drink. It's, it's wine yeah. o'clock. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's a nice area. It's easy yeah. to source produce and good, and good ingredient and... Uh, People are really nice out here. Our yeah. restaurant is doing fantastically. The food's great, and, and I'm very, very fortunate to be in this area. Yeah, so we're going to start cooking, and I'm going to... I'll tell you if his food is great. He's telling you it is, but I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know the real answer. Uh, coming up here in a little bit, we're going to get cooking here in the kitchen with Fabio. We'll see you guys in a bit. Chef Fabio Viviani opened his first East Coast restaurant this year at Del Lago. And tonight he is community. hosting a special event at the casino. But first, he's hanging out and having some fun with our Ashley Dorsbacher. Okay, so we are back in the kitchen and we are going to be making... I'm going to let him say it because it sounds so much better coming from you. What are we yes, making? we are making pasta carbonara. Oh, pasta... I can't even roll Carbonara. It. Carbon, I can't do it. But it's in a jar. We serve that in a jar. Yeah, but the base... The base is amazing fresh pasta. Okay, and, and the you whole, said you can do it in 90 seconds. I can do this in 90 seconds, but I don't quite want to give away the farm tonight. But okay. here's here's what we're going to do pretty okay. much, right? Yes. So we are going to break some eggs. Do you need help? I think I'm, I'll be all right. We're going to break some eggs in a food processor, right? Uh-huh. Oops. Uh-oh. Yeah. Are you sure you don't need help? <laughs> we're good at this, all right. Eggs in a food processor. Uh-huh. Then we're going to add the pinch of pepper. Uh -huh. We're going to add the pinch of salt. Question, though. I watched yes. your videos online, and you do a three-finger pinch and a two-finger pinch. What's I do. the difference? Well, you told me I can't say any bad words on TV. So three-finger is when you have somebody's rear back to pinch. <laughs> so I was holding it back because it's a morning show. So if it was like a late-night show, I would explain you the whole thing. <laughs> I think they get it. But three-finger, it's a lot better because you have more salt, and it's better. Okay. And then we're going to add flour. In this case, I'm adding like a good amount of flour, okay. right? And you just know it by seeing it. You don't measure. You're just I going. don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm like oh, I'm, I'm like an 80s kid, okay. so I don't measure. 80s kids don't measure. Okay. Right? Us 90s kids, we measure, I guess. 90s kids, you measure <laughs> and whatever, right? So now I got some flour there. Uh-huh. All right. All right. I'm going to get like this that? on. Just okay. put it on if you want to get in here, yeah. you see it. And you guys, you've been here since February. You have other restaurants. But do you do the same kind of food at different restaurants? Or do you... Some, some of the bays, some of the bays we keep. Okay. So some of like the good dishes. Not broken. Right. But the reality is that, you know, we're trying to make sure that every restaurant is unique in its yeah. own way. So now we add one more eggs at the end. Uh-huh. And the pasta is pretty much ready. Wow. So it's a very, yeah, it's not like a, it's not like a hard, it's not like a really hard thing to do. 
Yeah. It just, you know, it's going to work there for a little bit. And then, you know, pretty much what's happening is that we're been doing this for about a minute now. Okay. Minute and a half. Look at it. And you have fresh pasta dough. Wow. So now we're going to let this run for, you know, 30 more seconds, uh -huh. adjust the flour, just fine tuning. Yes. Then we're going to take this out. We're going to make a beautiful plate of orecchiette. And uh, I guess next segment you'll see the sauce. Okay, we're gonna do that next. So uh, we'll see you guys in a couple minutes, but we're gonna be making sauce next with Chef Fabio Viviani. You use a pinch, a pinch. It's a pinch she's, of salt. She's gonna get to eat this morning. I know, and from a guy like that, oh, I'm so jealous. So Chef Fabio Viviani opened his first East Coast restaurant this year at Del Lago, just down the throughway from us here in Rochester. Tonight he's hosting a special event at the casino, but. He's first giving our Ashley Dorsbacher a little tour, and they're having way too much fun. Okay, so we start, showed you the pasta, and now we gotta do the sauce. <clears throat> That's what goes with it. Yeah, so the sauce, it's a build out of layers of flavor. First of all, we have some amazing pork belly. Look at that. That has been braised, fat still on, because what's gonna happen is that once we put it in the pan, the fat will melt. Okay. And it's gonna kind of create the 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 liquid underneath and, and the juice of it a little bit. Ooh. So we're gonna go like this and now you can hear sizzling. this start sizzling. Yeah. Yep. Oh. This starts to sizzling a little bit. At the uh -huh. meantime, yes. we are throwing the pasta in the water. Okay. All right. Now you have this here. Is that yes. easy? Well, that's, you know, because yeah. you lift it, it's easier. Once the pasta is cooked, there's nothing else to do. Now, oh at gosh. nighttime with a busy restaurant, we have a big bean with a lot of, yes. of this, which makes our life easier. But, yeah. but this is about, this is about it. So okay. now we gotta season that for uh -huh. a little bit of salt and pepper, which okay. I forgot over there. Oh, you want me to grab it? Oh, no. Look at this. Watch, this is the tricks in the kitchen. How about that? Can we do another pinch? Yeah, it's gonna pinch. Watch whatever. You, can pinch? you can pinch whatever you like. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> it's your okay. morning show. I'm only behaving okay. myself. And just like this? Yeah. And then salt? A little, bit, a little bit okay. more. All right, a pinch then, of salt now. Oh, that was a big pinch. Done. That? All right. Your pinch passed the <laughs> test. All right, so now. Wow. They need to invent, like, smell a vision. This they need to smell so I, good. I agree, yeah. yeah. I agree, and uh, the problem is that we tried. <laughs> you tried? But people still got to go to restaurants. They do. <laughs> this is true. This is true. And they can come tonight to watch you. And they can come tonight. If you literally have like a couple of hours tonight, yeah. we're going to have a beautiful show. And uh, tickets are still on sale. Yes. Almost sold out. Yeah. That's awesome. You have to enjoy doing that. I mean, you being in the kitchen and cooking, you love it. But seeing people and interacting with people has to be fun. It's a lot more fun. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So as you see, the pancetta is getting a little brownish uh -huh. now, right? Yep. So here's what we're going to do. What? We're gonna add a good spoon of uh, cheese. Okay, what kind of cheese? This is Parmesan cheese that is being oh. emulsified with a little bit of water and a little bit of butter. Oh my gosh. Look at the flames, that's awesome. So here's what we're gonna do now. Okay. Wow. And you've been doing this since you were 11. Do you know a thing or two? Been doing this for a very long time. Yeah. Right. How did you come up with this? Like, how do you come up with all of your... You know, you, you do things that you think are going to taste good. Uh-huh. And then eventually they don't. <laughs> and, and, then, and then you try again. How did... This is... My mind is blown by this trick. See? Because yeah. the pasta is a little hollow, so it's going to hold some water. Yeah. And then you can add some broth to it. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. All right. So now we're going to let this reduce like uh -huh. this for a minute. Okay. And it's gonna cook. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're gonna build our presentation. Ooh. So the pasta is gonna go in here, the sauce, the layers of everything. Okay. And then next time when we yes. come back, it'll be finished and I can eat it. And then I'll serve it to you and you okay. can eat it. So do you shake it before you go out no, to the table? No, I'll shake it in front of you at the table. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to shake it with Fabio coming up next. We're shaking this. You won't want to miss this. Absolutely. <laughs> Top Chef and the Chew and plenty of other places.
But you can add Good Day Rochester to that uh -huh. list. Uh, wow. Chef Fabio Viviani is with Ashley. They're having way too much fun at the Del Lago <laughs> this morning. I didn't know cooking could be so fun. There's a big event tonight. So we showed you the pasta. We showed you making this. Now we're going to put it in here, and he's going to shake it for us. So, Fabio, what are we doing right. now? The Here's what we do. The is ready to go. The pasta is ready to go. The is ready to go. So the pasta goes in, uh -huh. first and foremost. Yes. This is the handmade pasta that you that we showed earlier. You yeah. Can make it, yeah, easy. The sauce goes in. Uh -huh. And remind folks what this is: Parmesan and some pork belly, and a little salt yeah. and pepper, and some water. Oh. Look at this. Wow. What's your favorite food to make? My favorite food to make is fresh pasta, actually, not because we're doing it right now, yeah. just because I love it. Yeah. So this is, look how cool it is right now, yeah. right? Yeah. So what is So now this? we have some fresh Brussels sprouts leaf. Ooh. And we have some roasted Brussels sprouts leaf, Brussels like that. Sprouts. Then we're going to add <clears throat> egg yolk, whole egg yolk to the sauce. You ready for this? Yeah. One. So just the egg yolk. Because the egg yolk is going to emulsify the whole sauce and bring it together. Okay. Two. Okay. Look at this dish. And then the final touch. More Parmesan? That's a big pinch. Yeah, that's how <laughs> I pinch. All right, now we close it. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. We got a plate. Get a plate. We got a towel. And a towel. <clears throat> of course, you got to get a towel. Ready? Uh -huh. Look how beautiful this is. I know. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a set. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture on live TV. And then he's gonna Instagram it later. Look how it is. Look at that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now, here's what we're gonna do. Yes. We're gonna take this, close it, because we don't wanna. Make you a know. mess. Now, you do like cooking videos on YouTube. You do all kinds, you're all over TV. You do all kinds of all stuff. Right. Do you love doing this? I love it. It's entertaining. Yeah. Now, here's what we do open. And your pasta, my dear, uh -huh. is served. <gasps> And you come to the table and do this? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So now, all you gotta do so good. is to let me fix it for you. You fix it. You make it look good. Go to the table, right? Yeah. That's your spoon. That's my spoon. What else do you put on? More Parmesan? Just because it looks good. <laughs> and a good pinch of pepper on top. That is a good pinch of pepper. All right. My dear, you, ready? you have it. Pretty good. He did say his food's pretty good, and I agree. She didn't believe me when I said that. <laughs> well, as a journalist, I have to test it. You know, you have to fact check, right? What would, as I'm talking with my mouth full and I'm that's food a, on me. That's all right. So, what would you say to get somebody out to come see you tonight? Because this, I mean, this was amazing, and we just did this Look. this morning. The sauce, it's easy, right? It's a little bit things together, but I surely can, I promise you. I will teach you how to make fresh pasta from scratch, egg and flour on your counter in less than 90 seconds. So if you have the desire to absolutely blow your mind away of every guest in your home yeah. and just blow them out of out, doubt, they'll never doubt your culinary genius again. You come to this class tonight, mm -hmm. and then I'll set you for life. Yeah, and you've got a book out, a new book out. You've got a couple books. you got a new one out. Yeah, the latest book is Fabio 30 Minutes Italian. With Can you teaches. really do it in 30 minutes? I did it in two, yeah, five. I know, I know. <laughs> so 30 for me is like, yeah, I can take a nap. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for um, beating a, me this morning. It's a pleasure. Good. She's eating. She's not. That's good. We're done. She's eating. She's not tasting. I like I her. I only pinch the salt and pepper. Just, yep. for you, just so everybody knows. Yep. <laughs> oh. Bye, guys. Enjoy. Look Bravo. Bye. See you later. I want. Oh, that was amazing. My gosh. I want. But I want what I want. Let's just you hop in the car. Know. We can just hop in the car and Do you think you know, he can have us three in his class? No. Mm -hmm. He's going to find out today.